Hello everybody. Today we are going to check uh, PHP classes and object to learn how do they interact with HTML and we are going to do it on an, uh, on an ex hands on example. This is a beginner's chat and it will take no more than six minutes. Uh, we are starting with pure simple HTML website. We'll include a PHP class into it we will create or if it's created we will check a method which exists inside the PHP class and finally we'll apply whatever the method returns back into the HTML code. This is the plan for today. Let's start with some real web. Here. Quite a simple website, an offer with some text, with an image and uh, with a form. Please pay attention to this red note, the discount, which applies until November 15th, because this is the area where we are going to work today. Let's see the HTML for this website. Here it is. Quite simple, as you can tell, no magic. And again, and this is the the paragraph that we want to work. What do we want to do? Um, usually if you have a discount of an offer there is a, an expiry date, like in this case November 15th. In such cases you will edit the website the first time when you insert the offer and then when it expires you would, you would go to back to the uh, HTML code and to remove it because you don't want to show the customers what they cannot get anymore because it's too late. Uh, what we want to do is we want the second part, the removing, we want to leave it to PHP. Ph we want that PHP will look at the calendar and precisely on the operating system clock and if it's too late it will not display this message. This is the task for today. Um, in order to do this we need a, a PHP class and uh, before the uh, HTML starts painting uh, we, we need to include the class. Where is it included? Right here on the top. The top two lines includes a, with a path to a wine shop class and then on the second line of PHP we have a we create a new a variable which is an object, an instance of the wine shop class. What's wine shop class? No magic, I will show you right away. You can hardly imagine a more simple PHP class. It is only it only has one method, one function called show between which receives three parameters from, to and HTML. From and to are obviously dates and here on top in the doc block you can see the format how we are going to pass those dates and the HTML is, uh, is the HTML which we want to show or not to show depending on the result of the if condition and this is the if condition here and um, if it, if the if current time is outside of the time frame we have specified by passing the two parameters then the method returns an empty string that means nothing will be shown otherwise if it's within the from and two parameters it will return precisely the HTML which we have passed to the method as a third parameter. Quite simple. How to do it inside the HTML? We go back to our class and we start writing PHP. Not much, it's one line of code. We are going to echo whatever the method. We already have an instance of the class called shop 
and it has the show between methods and we need the parameters the first parameter it can be any past date we'll put this on the January 1st the second parameter in our example is November 15th and the third parameter is exactly the HTML which we want to show or not which now is this static HTML line with a with a red offer and we are going to copy and paste it within the function call right in here as a third parameter to the shown between okay so now we can remove this and see if it works first surprise I, ch I, ch I go back, back again here and I, I refresh the page yes it works because it's within the time frame now let's do the second test I say no it is going to be until 2012 it means expired by today I'm doing this in 2013 therefore I check again for the second test and I refresh the screen voila it went and that's it that's the end of the exercise so what we have learned looking once again at the code is in the first two lines on the top we have learned how to include a class and to with the new operator how to make a new instance of the class shop and then how to pass parameters to a show between method of the class and make it work for you and that's it for today I thank you for your attention and please keep checking on caribation.com IT training thank you very much